Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is a newest edition of Buy or Buy, and today we're going to try the Penelope Rosé cask. Rosé cask? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, R rosé, rosé cask. cask finish. Don't rosé cask finish. I'm joined once again by my beautiful wife, Mary. Say hi to the people. Hi, y'all. She's the one who you all agreed with that I'm an idiot, that Eagle Rare is better than Russell's 10. However, I will tell you, comments were 50-50. This is true. Like, there there were a lot of comments saying, oh, but Russell, you know, yeah, that, that, that's fine. Like I said, neither were wrong. I just like Eagle Rare more than I like Russell. Anyway, myself. so today, so neither of us have had this, this rosé cask finish. Um, it is way more expensive than I would normally normally spend for a 94 proof bourbon. This is the same mash bill as Penelope's four grain, which means the whiskey inside of it you can generally buy unfinished for about 35 bucks. This one, however, the MSRP is right around 69.99 in my market. So, are you ready to try a $70 bottle of bourbon? Hell yeah, Penelope is my favorite, so um, let's go. All right, let's go. Would you like to do the honors? It, and have everybody watch me struggle? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> better, better to watch you struggle than watch me struggle. Oh, the plastic's still on. Yes, like everything is still here. Have not opened, have never tasted this. I don't even think I've had this at a festival. No, I've, I've never seen this one because I would have said, oh, hey. Let's try this. All right. There's the. Of course, you know, today was when I broke my nails. You can just grab the top and twist. Oh, that's that's glass. It's not like others. Ready? Maybe. Rude. Uh, I thought... So it is a for those who don't know, hold it up for the people. It is a glass stopper, not a cork stopper, which- So it didn't give me the pop. It did not give you the pop. Aw, uh, minus 10 points for that. And I'm guessing that's why it's expensive, is because they used a stupid cork. No offense, Penelope, but- Penelope, you did me dirty. All right. I wanted the pop. Let's pour it. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna let me pour my own? It's 2023, I don't let you do anything. I hand you the bottle. If you wanna pour it, you pour it. I'm a grown ass woman. You're I can a do grown it ass woman. All right. All right, so let's see. I yeah, I don't like I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that cork off. at all. all right. It makes me sad. Yeah, let's see how it smells. Ooh. Okay, so it's it's soft and sweet. I get a lot of red wine. Well, I would kind of hope so because it's finished in a rosé cask, right? Yes. So. Yeah, but I don't get I don't get a lot of the telltale bourbon characteristics out of this. No. It's it smells more like a wine than it does a bourbon, though there is the bourbon at the very end, but yeah, I'm not getting any of that normal vanilla or caramel, caramel. No, the vanilla's there. I'm not getting it. I'm also not really getting any acetone, any heat off of the smell. Oh, I am, but... She is. How much have you already drank today? Or is this your first thing? Uh, well, I had the the warm up to, you know, get the okay. palate warm. I had a little, little taster of Russell's 10. All right. All right, let's see how this tastes. Eh. It's nice, but I mean, wait, did you finish my other Penelope? Because I don't see it back here. The toasted? toasted? No, the toasted is in the office. Oh, okay. Because 
it's it's definitely got that Penelope taste, but it's I wouldn't spend 70 bucks on it. No. And I will be 100% honest, we didn't spend 70 bucks on this. This was actually on sale at our grocery store for $32, which is why I picked it up to do this video, but I wouldn't buy it again. No, I don't think I would. Let me let's take a minute do a a little bit more tasting, see what we think. It, it's it got the bite of a bourbon, but it's very wine forward. See, like I don't I don't even get the bite, but that's because generally I'm drinking 110, yeah. 120 proof, and this is only 94. So this is a yeah. very- It's soft, but it's, it's, it's the back burn, not, I shouldn't say bite, it's the back burn of bourbon with a wine forward and I like my wine dry you know I like more of the the bold reds rather than rosé I'm not a rosé woman um like it's 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 nice this is definitely a sitting you know working on a craft and want some bourbon without you know the warm fuzzies that make me just want to curl up with the book. Um, but I'd take toasted over this any day. And they're the same price. The How? toasted the toasted and the rose cask are the same price. This is 94 proof. Uh, the toasted we have is barrel strength. So it's like 120 proof. So $70 for either. This one is under proof for a $70 whiskey. It doesn't have any of the characteristics that I want in a bourbon. It's not it's not caramel, vanilla, peanuts. Uh, this does not have the characteristics that I look for in a bourbon. Um, and I love Penelope. I've got, we've got a bottle of uh, The Architect. It's a store pick. We've bought multiple bottles of Toasted. We've uh, got um, the French Oak Stage. Yeah, that's The Architect one. Oh, oops, That's the store pick. Um, I included Penelope's Four Grain in my five best beginner bourbons. Uh, this just misses the mark, uh, especially at 70 bucks. I mean, it's... I, I it, like, you said we spent 32 on it? Yeah, we spent 32 okay. on it. 32 sounds like a better price. You know, this is a, if you had given this to me after Screwball, because that's how you got me into, into whiskey and bourbon. You started me with Screwball, and then I went straight to E.H. Taylor after that. Uh, that was a big leap. So, like, if if you are trying to appeal to the wine drinkers and get them into bourbon, especially the, the more femme presenting, the ones that like rosé, like, this would be fabulous. But See, now I would counter that with if you have a wine drinker that you want to hand bourbon to, I would spend 35 bucks. I would get a bottle of Russell's Reserve or a bottle of Penelope's Four Grain and make a New York Sour, which is a whiskey sour with a red wine float. Yeah, well, yeah, if you want to do a mix, sure. But just a straight up bottle of bourbon that you're giving to somebody who predominantly drinks wine, this would be a good step in. But as somebody who has been drinking bourbon granted i am still very much new but this would have been a good half step in but i'm not gonna tell like i'm not gonna tell our friends hey go grab this i really liked it will i drink it while crafting will i drink it while reading yeah i'll finish this bottle but i'm not gonna seek out another one which which saddens me because i love penelope at 70 bucks, would you recommend this to somebody? It it kills me to say no, but I would not. Especially with that stupid cork. I, mm, the cork makes me sad. Cause like, that's kind of like the whole appeal of opening a bourbon for the first time. That pop, there was no pop. I was actually afraid I was gonna break it. Like once I realized, oh, this is glass. That would have been a very short video had she broken the glass off in the bottle. I don't think I'm gonna break it. Cause like, you know, it's, it's solid. I mean, it's but, 
like but you definitely bang it against the side of the bottle no. when you pull it out and i don't like that it it does sound like it's going to it sounds to like break. it's gonna break all right so on a scale of one to ten with one being absolutely not one being straight grain alcohol and 10 being uh, the best whiskey you've ever drank. We're, we're gonna have to go with like a 3.4. Oh, that's even harsher than I was gonna give. I, I mean, like I said, I, I, I have the benefit of you have building the collection of bourbon, you know, behind us and in our office. So like I can go and grab anyone and know that I'm going to be able to sit down and enjoy it. Would I sit down and enjoy this? Yes. But if I see something else on the shelf, I'm going to reach for it first before I reach for this one. See, and I was going to go with a six and a half because really? it's not horrible. No, it's, you know. But if you want a 94 proof Penelope, just get the four grain. It's $35 cheaper. If you want a $70 Penelope, get the Toasted or get the Architect series or the, the Barrel Strength or any of the other higher proof Penelope's. $70, will not look for this again. If I'm gifted a bottle, I won't give it back, but this is not a bottle that I will look for or seek out. It's, it's gonna take us a while to get through this. Yeah, it is, especially um considering, you know, the first bottle of a uh, toasted Penelope that we bought was supposed to be mine. You know how many glasses I've had of it? That's not my fault. Yes, it is. Drink more. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, It's not my fault that you're drinking it slowly and I don't want it to oxidize. All right, but this, this is probably going to take us quite a while to get through, which makes me sad. Yeah, and the longer it sat in the glass, the less I like it. It's, oh. it's, oh. it's, it's just red wine. I mean, all of the things that make bourbon interesting are absent in this whiskey. So, that flat isn't the right word, but it got thin. It's that's... one note. It's red wine. That's the only note that I I really get in this. I'm kind of disappointed now. It's a sad bottle of bourbon. It's a sad day. I was I was looking forward to trying it. I was too, because um, now I will admit, I, I have seen mixed reviews. The people that love this bottle of bourbon, love this bottle of bourbon. I'm not that person. Well, probably the people that like that, the bourbon is probably the same people that drink rosé. It's a beautiful bottle. Oh, it's a gorgeous bottle. I, and like the coloring is fabulous. You know, it... Are those chrysanthemums? Uh, yes. Um, you got to show the people what you looked at now. <laughs> my, my gorgeous tattoo, there's a chrysanthemum right there. Uh, that is our oldest son's uh, birth flower, so that's, that's there. Um, yeah. Out of our Penelope lineup that we have, it's just never going to be the first one I reach for. Yeah, it's not going to be the first, the second, the third, or the fourth one that I'd reach for. I'd reach for this if if none of that were here. I'd reach for this. You know, we could probably figure out a mixed drink for this that would help it shine. The New York Sour, the one with the red wine float. Yeah, but but that's about it. Like this, this would be a Penelope I would use for mixing. I don't know if I would drink it just straight unless I wanted bourbon without getting silly because I don't drink enough. If you want red wine, buy a good glass, good bottle of red wine. If you want a bottle of bourbon, buy a different bottle of bourbon. Yeah. All right, well, that's it. I'm Parker the Viking. This is my wife, Mary. If you enjoyed this episode, uh, give us a like, a subscribe. Uh, make sure you ring the bell because uh, we are going to be going live a couple of times over the next couple of months. Uh, we're going to do uh, cheese steaks on the Blackstone Griddle live. And uh, next month we're going to do a live Q&A. Uh, so make oh. sure you uh, go down on that community tab and get your questions in and we'll answer them live. Uh, if you like this. This was uh, tame. Uh, 
This was a tame one. Hold on. <clears throat> Had to burp again. <laughs> if you like this, make sure to follow us on Twitch. We both stream and every Friday night we stream scary games with other streamers. Uh, I also have a Patreon that is the best way. Oh, damn. This one gave me the burps. <laughs> It's it's get you getting you. This is payback. Uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a long day. <laughs> uh, I also have a Patreon that is the best way to support me. It keeps me in bourbon and in barbecue and allow it. All right, shake it off. Just give yourself a shake. Get your shoulders in there. You're too stiff. I also have a Patreon uh, that is the best way to support me. It helps keep me in bourbon and barbecue and allows me to keep making these videos for you guys. I'll post a link to Twitch and to Patreon and all of my other social medias down in the description below. Do you have anything to say to the people before we sign out? I know that this one in terms of banter was pretty tame, but definitely come back because I'm sure next week or probably two weeks from now, you're going to have me doing something else uh, where I can prove you wrong. Oh, I've got a plan oh. that involves uh, old Forrester 1897, 1910, and 1920. And she's going to blind taste and pick which of the old Forsters her, is her favorite. She's going to drink three whiskeys on camera and pick. Let's see if she chooses the most expensive or the least expensive. <laughs> Have, have I chosen the most expensive? No. Yes, first, yes, you know, Eagle Rare. Well, well, but the first one, the Kirkland one, was the least expensive. To be fair, yes. But E.H. Taylor at MSRP is not expensive. Okay. To be fair, neither is e or, uh, Eagle, Eagle Rare. Rare. Eagle Rare at MSRP is not expensive. Just here. Well, yeah, because you can't get it at, at MSRP. Um, this is way too expensive. <laughs> I'd, I'd spend, you know, like t between 27 and 35. Like if I were to go out and seek this out, 27 to 35 is what I would price it at. But not, you said 69? 69.99. Such a good number to be wasted on this. Um, sorry, that was really mean of me to say. Uh, <laughs> truth is truth. I, I'm, I'm just kind of disappointed. Anyway, again, Parker the Viking, this is my wife, Mary. Remember, no matter what anybody else tells you, there is no wrong way to drink your bourbon. Cheers. I don't have any bourbon left. It's empty. I know. <laughs> Excuse me. It's not caramel, vanilla, peanuts.